Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be talking about security. So this specific, we'll be discussing how to connect to secured endpoints using HTTP client. Because in the context of integration, you'll be connecting to different endpoints and those endpoints could be secured using different approaches such as O2, AWT, basic code, and so on and so forth. So now let's see how we can connect to an endpoint secured using O2. So if we go back to our base code and let me open the diagram view and go to the social media service. And if I open this resource, if you can remember, so this resource was actually connecting to two endpoints. One is the social media DB, and the other one is the sentiment endpoint. We use the sentiment endpoint to validate the sentiment of a post. So this is the connection that we have for sentiment endpoints. So we basically send the description of the post to the sentiment endpoint and check whether the sentiment is positive or negative. Say for some reason, this sentiment endpoint is now secured with O2. So then let's see how we can use the HTTP client to connect to this endpoint using O2. So you guys might know like when it is O2, usually you have to go to the relevant API and create an app to get the client ID and client secret. So in this case, just imagine that you already have that client ID and client secret. All you need to do is use those client ID and client secret to connect to this sentiment endpoint. So let's see how we can do that. If we go back to our code, as you can see, we are using this client to connect to sentiment endpoint. Now that our sentiment endpoint is secured with O2, we need to do a bunch of changes. First thing is we need to make the URL HTTPS. If the sentiment endpoint is using a well-known certificate, we don't have to do anything else. But in this case, it is using a self-signed certificate. So let's give the path to the self-signed certificate. So you can get the self-signed certificate from this location. I just copy it to my project directory. And you can give it here like this. Okay, next we need to give auth configuration. Just to save time, I'll just copy it. Okay, so the values to this auth to configuration you can get from the readme file in the GitHub repository. So what we need to do is we need to give the token URL, client ID, client secret, and the code. Okay, so if this token URL is also using a self-signed certificate, you can configure that also on the client config. You can give the secure socket configuration. Just like here, I'll just copy it. Let's just say both of them are using the same certificate. This should be all. Okay, so that's all we need to do. Now we can send a request to the secure sentiment endpoint and get the required values. I'm not going to try out this. Just to save time, I'll just leave it as it is. If you want to try this, what you can do is you can go to the, if you read things instruction here, you can start the STS service. 
Again, this is a simple SDS service which we wrote for this tutorial. So it only works for this client ID and client secret. And then you can start the sentiment analysis service secured one using well run. And finally, you can send a request to try, try the service. Okay, that's all for this ses session. See you all in the next one.